French Guiana, the oldest French dependency on the northern coast of South America. Almost all the country's imports and exports go through the Degrad de Can seaport in the capital Cayenne, with the Mahuri River as a waterway between the port and the Atlantic Ocean. But in recent years, the port has been facing a major problem. Ships are more modern, bigger, and therefore deeper. And there are rocks at this depth in the river, so the ships cannot reach the port. The Delta Queen carries out normal dredging activities in this area. However, some adjustments were needed for this specialized work. When the spud poles have been extended, and the vessel has been further modified, actual preparations for the detonations could begin. The Delta Queen is ready for this new job, rock dredging. Once the explosives are cleared through French Guiana customs, Nitrex arrives at the location in the harbor. All the required materials are carefully selected before they are loaded on board. We were called by the board because there was an opportunity to make an underwater rock blasting project in French Guiana, Cayenne, Port de Grade Cans. It was found a bedrock above the, the level which was needed, so it has to be removed, and the only way was by means of explosives. And that's what we are specialized of. Nitric is the company which is specialized in civil work with explosives. Explosives are materials which are dangerous. So when you work with dangerous goods, such as explosives, you need to keep the risk as low as possible. So due to the fact that we work with the dangerous goods, our organization, our plan, our execution, our training, our experience, our knowledge is such to minimize the risk to a minimum, to a minimum level, so that the possibility of occurrence of an accident should be very low. The red flag is hoisted. This means the explosives are on board. The explosives are stored each day in a blue day box, a sealed container on board the vessel. Some specialized company detect the depth of the bedrock below what is called overburden. There is a thick layer of clay or sand. Below that there is the rock. And a specialized company are capable of detecting where the bedrock, what's the bedrock shape, what's the bedrock depth. And, and they put this in on a paper, on a piece of paper. So at a given position, you know the depth, what is called bathymetry. That's how we know where the holes must be drilled. As soon as we got the survey, so the situation of the rock underwater, 
On the base of that, we design what is called a drilling pattern, drilling and blasting pattern, which is position of each hole load a sequence of ignition, of detonation, in order to break the rock and uh, give the possibility to remove it with uh, an excavator. That's what we did. So we, uh, on the base of the geometry of the rock to be removed, we designed the drilling operation and the blasting operation. It is uh, specialized in maritime works. Some marks on the shape of the Delta Queen, which correspond to the normal position of the boom of the wagon drills. So, uh, for example, they want to know the exact position of every borehole we drill as soon as we reach the rock, the bedrock, but also the, the position of the, of the end of the borehole, which is uh, two meters and a half. To achieve the, the rock from above the surface, we lower a pipe, which is called casing, up to the top of the rock. From this pipe, we drill through this pipe, and from the top of the rock, we drill a hole. So we have an access from above the water to the top of the hole. After a week of intensive preparations, the holes are drilled and a start can be made in introducing the explosives. When the hole is finished, we introduce explosives then we retrieve the casing, displace it, and repeat the operation in the next spot. The explosives and detonators are attached. An air bubble curtain is placed on the riverbed around the blasting area. This muffles the explosion. Once Nitrex employees have ensured everything is safe, the signal can be given. By means of GPS, the crane can dredge in exactly the right place to remove the rocks, which are placed on the pontoon. On shore, a crane hoists the stones from the pontoon and stores them for reuse, especially for the Cayenne coastal defences. In this way, material that is an obstacle here can be put to good use elsewhere. The first blast was done 5th of August. Then we had to wait a while because the customer took his decision to permit us to go further. And then we continue. We didn't have the chance to blast every day as we had planned. But uh, when we had the possibility to blast, we did it. Now it's finished and uh, in a couple of days we will, we will be flying home. The port is ready to welcome large vessels in the future. And Cayenne can continue to serve into the future as the most important import and export harbour in the country.